Good morning from Abu Dhabi. It's four in the morning. My flight leaves in two hours, five minutes. I'm going to Bahrain. I'm leaving the hotel and look. Flight information right here. 620 Bahrain, Terminal 1, check in open. I'm staying in a hotel located right at the airport and I think it was the best decision that I made for this journey. It's so, so convenient that now I don't have to take a taxi. Premier in Abu Dhabi airport. Costs around 100 euro a night. Super convenient. 419 still haven't left the building terminal one yesterday when coming to the airport i didn't find this corridor so i walked outside but anyway it's very very close five minutes or less it's gonna be my first time in bahrain and i absolutely don't know what to expect just a week earlier I wouldn't be able to put Bahrain on the map. I would guess that it's somewhere in the Middle East, but that's it. Then I checked the flights and it made a lot of sense to go there and check it out. Terminal 1. Still sockless. I didn't find any good socks in Samarkand. Long, long lines. Why are there so long lines? Yeah, 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 yeah. I also have to go to the check-in counter, even though I don't have a check-in bag. I have to get my boarding pass there, and then we want to check my passport. Oof, luckily, it wasn't my line, but anyway. Air Abu Dhabi, we look forward to having you on board again soon and we wish you a pleasant stay in Bahrain and for those who are on the return journey, welcome home. And welcome to Bahrain. Oh, it's so cold here in the airport. And the travelers on the plane, the most cultured travelers that I have seen, disembarking so slowly and letting others go and wow. I don't know who they were, locals or from Abu Dhabi, but yeah. A very pleasant experience. Now let's go and find the immigration. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be taking out the jumper. Oh, cold. Well, outside at 7 in the morning, it's most likely around plus 40. Here it's freezing. The easiest immigration. Pay the money with the bank card, you can go. Super modern airport and very bad exchange rates at the exchange offices. Like 34 dirham for 100 euro instead of 42, 43, which is the normal rate. Now, now I'm looking for the public transportation to this city. I found out that there is a cheap bus going to the city. You know what? Let's do a quick walk around the airport because most likely I will be leaving by the land border, not the airport. So let's do a quick walk around. It's a very nice airport. Super clean, modern, efficient. A pleasant place to be, not many people here. I have already adjusted the temperature inside but the outside temperature looks crazy. Never seen it before that um, temperature during the day stays more or less the same, 24 hours. About plus 35 or something like that, but that feels like plus 45, 49, hot.
clearly see that this horse is not happy with the portrait that's being drawn. Amazing airport. Now it's time for this amazing country, city. Let's go. Wow. Wow, looks like a great deal. Weekly pass for three, Bahrain dinner. That's something like uh, seven euros, eight dollars for a week. Wow, weekly transport pass. I'll try it when the bus driver comes. Hopefully I can buy it here. Single ride, one trip. You cannot buy the weekly or daily bus here on the bus. You have to go to some some place. I'll go. I'll find it later. A nice bus and only for two of us. Very interesting. Very hazy. And now let's walk for two kilometers and make the first impression of Bahrain. Bahrain is an island nation. It's a small country. Finally, I can say that your country, Bahrain, is about the same as big as my country, Latvia. Population-wise, there are some 2 million people living here. A little bit less, maybe a little bit more. And right now, I'm in the main city, walking towards my hotel. Judging from the map, it looked like a very lively and very central location. The place that I'm going to, some two kilometers from here and very close to the sea. Let's go on a bigger street. So far, my impressions are very good. I'm considering staying a bit more than I was planning, more than two, three days. Because, first, it looks very modern, second, it looks also very Middle Eastern, and Third, it's pretty lively. It's very hot outside, but there are some people. Not too many, but there are people. And uh, four, it doesn't look so spread out like Dubai or Abu Dhabi. So that means you can also walk around and get somewhere. Or maybe, maybe take, let's take the smaller road. The big road looks very... Whew. Hello. The big road looks very boring. One point three kilometers until my hotel. In this, what I said, that looks like a very lively area. Lots of hotels in that area. Lots of shops and restaurants also. Another thing I see right away is that that area closer to the airport was more fancy, more upper class most likely. This looks more rough. Speaking of Bahrain's population, I said that it's more or less the same like Latvia's and that's around 2 million people. The population has been growing in the last years and not because people are having more children but because more and more people are coming to Bahrain to live and work so at the moment more or less one half of Bahrain's population is foreigners people who have come from other countries to live here wow 
I wanted to say that it's not as hot as in Abu Dhabi, but uh, it is. It's steaming hot. My my face is dripping. <sighs> Whew. Thanks to these guys, it's not crazy, crazy, crazy hot. Just crazy hot. Thank you. Thank you, Karani Bros. No, I didn't spill anything on me. This is just Bahrain in July and this across the street is Phuket town restaurant from six or seven hundred meters to go to the area I see Domino pizza I see Indian food lots of Indian food that's a good thing I've been missing some good Indian food uh, yeah and I read that a big part of the population in Bahrain is Indians. So even though Islam is the biggest religion in Bahrain, it's not the only big religion. There are also a lot of Hindu and some Christians. And I'm more or less in the area, only I think on a bigger road somewhere. A lot of accommodation options in this area if you look on booking.com. One thing that I learned just now is that a piece of paper that I was given at the airport it's my visa I thought it's a receipt but no there were two of them one was receipt and one was visa here I see ramen sweets alfarabi tower First impressions of Bahrain, it's very interesting, very diverse population, very polite people. On that, let's finish this video. See you soon, most likely still from Bahrain.